So, obviously I told you guys that I started in art school. But, like, I seriously, seriously have a passion for dance. But there was something else about this particular community that I just thought was very interesting. If you take a look at this photograph and you kind of, like, see who's in there, I mean, there is a wide variety of... There's mostly women of color and, ironically, Brianna the goth. Um, so Brianna's the white girl who's, like, right to my left. Um, as you see, like, <laughs> my, man, like, my parents definitely dressed me in, like, pearls and very conservative outfits. But I went through a phase where I watched the way that Brianna acted and behaved and dressed. And I would just always talk to her about her boots and her metal and it really inspired me to have my mom buy a lot more like black black lace <laughs> many things that were very gothic it made me feel more similar to her and then there's also as you can see like a nice variety in terms of like if you know anything about african girls and the way that they look and how you see that there's people from all different shades here there's very dark there's medium brown there's very light brown there's mahogany brown there's almost like beige right everyone is very different um so we have a lot of different countries represented here we've got nigeria kenya south africa we've got some americans here um obviously like ethiopia um, but yeah, I, I don't know. For me, uh, growing up in an environment where th th this is, you know, how it looked, it, and also just, you know, becoming more familiar with people's parents, it's just kind of like, yeah, Africa is very big. Everyone looks very different. It's not, there's not like one black girl. As you can see, like everybody looks kind of different. It, 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 you'd have to maybe take more time to like look at everyone, but these women do not look the same, so.